everybody welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings for September 2017 this is going to be for the moon sun and rising of cancers I do want to apologize for not uploading a little bit sooner I've been extremely busy uh, with tarot consultations and healings and uh, spell magic uh, spell casting rituals etc for all my clients so I do want to mention, for those of you guys that are trying to get uh, private consultations, I highly encourage you to start doing that now. Look at the description box below to be able to find my contact information on there. As the coming months, um, the last few months of the year are the busiest for me, um, not only with my existing clientele, but with, uh, you know, my uh, clientele has been growing thanks to YouTube and all of you guys who support my channel and come to me for consultations on monthly basis etc I truly appreciate that and I thank you guys very much um, but again like I said the last months of the year are the busiest for me and it's gonna get really crazy I'm already <laughs> I'm already going through that shift right now so again if you guys are trying to get ratings start doing that now start booking them now because I can promise you guys availability um, coming October and then September and from there on out I really uh, last year I was extremely overwhelmed and I have a feeling it's gonna be really really bad this year so bad in a good way not in a bad way so anyways let's get into your reading so before I shuffle the cards for you cancers I did actually uh, channel my spirit guides to get communication and messages for all zodiac signs this is something I'm doing for this month only so cancers um, I was told you guys need to be careful to not push people um, not push people away from you guys especially people who show you or have showed you with actions that they are there for you not just with words okay so that came on very strongly so there's something going on with you cancers that uh, you guys kind of bring up that self def uh, self defensive mechanism and do certain certain things to push people away either you snap at them or you become cold um, standoffish uh, kind of close them out and just completely stop texting or completely stop calling them or just pretty much fall off the map and then once you start feeling like yourself again uh, you go back to communicating with them or with your family members, etc. So try the best you can not to do that and to watch that because I feel that, again, like I said, when I was getting the messages, it did come on very strong that uh, the past six, it could be six months or the past six years, uh, you guys continuously keep going in this circle where you kind of self-sabotage yourself from uh, being surrounded with people that genuinely care for you. So it could be again out of fear out of insecurities of yourself whatever it may be try the best you can to keep that on check and even try to go within yourself to try to understand why is it that you uh, are so quickly to push people away from you especially the people that have showed you with actions not just with words okay so anyways um there's needing for grounding for you guys okay there's a lot of confusion regarding love uh, and money struggles so need to have you need to have practical goals so what that means is stop promising people things that you know for a fact you cannot deliver or stop believing people that promise you things that they know they can't deliver but they've already shown you in the past that they let you down so what I'm trying to say is stop building castles or sand castles and expecting them to withstand the winds um, or the weather so the way to do this is again like I said there's a needing for grounding for you guys uh, cancers so my suggestion would be go surround yourself with the water element whether it's the beach whether it's the lake um, whether it's in the shower whatever it is um, and and just connect with the water element and ask spirit to cleanse you or to remove any blockages that you have within your mind body and spirit and that should be able to uh, you know release all that negative blockages that you have and actually uh, you know um, raise your vibration okay so anyways let's get into this reading for cancers let's see what September has for you guys spirit what are the messages I 
mirándoles el pasado voy adivinándoles el futuro constantemente mi ser es una facultad para ver más allá adivinándoles el pasado voy adivinándoles el futuro constantemente mi ser es una facultad para ver el más allá Okay, let's get into your reading, Cancer. Your first card is the Ace of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Tower, the Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Four of Pentacles, the Strength card, the King of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Your general energy for the month is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a general energy. Again, going back to that of grounding, it is very necessary as the Queen of Pentacles is the epitome of, <laughs> of ground energy. Um, so there's a need. You're going in with the general energies or the energy surrounding you. There's a need for you to have uh, practical goals. So if you know you can achieve something, um, don't promise when you know you're not going to deliver. And the same thing goes with people that are dealing with you. Do not take their word at face value. Understand and know that if they have a pattern where they continuously don't deliver what they promise, uh, it's time for you to wake up cancer and stop um, you know, giving people the benefit of the doubt. If this is you, the one that's needing the grounding and that is needing to have the practical goals, the same thing applies. Try the best you can not to promise people uh, things that you cannot deliver because I feel that it's going to definitely have an impact and it's going to be something unexpected, okay? So just be very wary of that. Now, you do start the month with the Ace of Pentacles, so there's a promise of something long-term uh, in actually materializing. You have the Eight of Wands, so definitely a lot of fast movement, quick movement, uh, communicating back and forth. You have the King of Swords here, and the King of Swords could be a representation of an air sign. So it'd be a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This could be their moon, sun, and rising. Does it not necessarily have to be their sun sign? <clears throat> Or it doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign, but it could just be the attributes of the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is definitely a very practical person, a person that sees everything with an intellectual standpoint. Someone that's very cutthroat, very to the point, doesn't, you know, they could kind of smell bullshit a mile away. And I feel that you've been dealing with this person for quite a while. It could be eight months, it could be eight weeks, or it could be eight months. Uh, because the Eight of Wands is definitely here and it's communication back and forth. Now... The tower is right here, and the tower is right next to the three of cups. So there's a third-party energy going on right here, something that was unexpected for you. Um, or it could be that uh, someone basically catches you uh, being the, the, you know, <laughs> uh, the flirty. Uh, if you guys are currently in a serious relationship, it could be you stepping out of the relationship and actually getting caught. Although I don't feel that for many of you guys, it's, I think it's going to be the other way around, which is your partner, um, that you either catch cheating or that there's some type of uh, discord that's going to come of this tower right here. Now, right in the passing and pass position, you have the temperance card. The temperance card, the temperance card is a lot about balance, but it's also speaking about being able to implement long-term goals and short-term goals and there's a difference and there's a reason why there's a difference between that so try the best you can to be practical when it comes to fulfilling when it comes to even how you present yourself to the world try the best you can to be practical about it um, be genuine when it comes more than anything try the best you can to resonate to your truth and don't try the uh, don't try hard to impress people people either will like you for who you are who and what you are or if they don't then they don't deserve you and the reason i say that is because the four of pentacles definitely talks about protection but it can also represent a person that likes to show off or a person that is a little bit showy on social media um but this can also be a representation of your energy and it's in the past and passing position so what this means it could be you who tries to show or tries to put on this type of you know lifestyle or even that you're strong when you're really falling apart 
and again don't it's it's good to try to do it because you're trying to get strength from it but it's completely different if you just do it just to try to make other people envious of you or how great your life really is because the chances of them calling out or calling you out on it are very highly because the tower is here and the tower is not so much uh, just affecting you but it's also affecting those people around you and I feel that family is very important to you obviously you you cancers most of you guys family is very important but I feel that this is going to ultimately uh, affect your family dynamic okay there's a three of cups here and the three of cups is um, communicating back and forth or socializing with friends and family members and loved ones um, but because the tower is right on top of this, uh, this can also be a representation of some truths coming out regarding family and regarding third party energy. So it could be that you find out or <clears throat> someone in your family finds out that uh, someone else in the in the family uh, in the family tree is actually cheating or being betrayed by someone else and it actually coming in kind of, um, you know, making waves um, regarding that because it's like you weren't expecting that now the seven of pentacles here is definitely talking about uh, th there's a lot of reminiscing about what you had in the past or what you haven't been able to attain uh, for a couple of years now and through all the strife that you've been through cancers you guys have been strong about it and you continuously keep growing from it but again, like I said, I do want to mention there's a necessity for you guys to be grounded, um, to see things from a very practical standpoint. And the reason for that is because, of course, it's great to dream. It's great to fantasize about it if you actually have the passion and you actually have the courage to set out to do something about those fantasies or those dreams. And I feel that for many of you, it's like you've been lacking that determination or you've been lacking that desire to want to actually put in the work. Now, the King of Cups, I mean, the King of Wands here is definitely talking about a fire sign. So you could be dealing with the fire sign as well. And a fire sign would be a Sagittarius, um, a Leo, or a uh, Aries. And um, I feel that this person is definitely going to bring to you uh, some type of achievement. Uh, so it could be a person that you're dealing with in the business front or someone that you're making business with. It could be um, it could be a different type of business. So it's like if you guys have a job, uh, you guys may start doing a, like a side job or something. Um, and this person actually gets in the car with you and pushes each other like you both push each other towards achieving some type of goal. Uh, and it's something that has to do with creative outlook. Um, and you guys definitely start to see the benefits from that. So again, I know this this uh, reading seems all over the place, but I feel that for the most part for you cancers, um, being practical is very necessary, okay? It's, it's very necessary for many reasons, um, but it can also be a representation of new beginnings starting for you guys because you do have the Ace of Pentacles here um, or being able to attain new goals but the easiest way for you to do it without having to deal with any type of confusion or with any setbacks is if you approach your goals in a very practical way uh, you know try to make a choice is this a long-term you know goal is this something that it's going to take five years or is it something that it could be done or achieved or attained in two to three to three months etc and when you're able to prioritize that and when you're able to move forward with that you will be able to actually reap the success that you've been wanting or desiring okay so anyways i wish you guys the very best i hope this resonated to you guys like share and comment my videos if you haven't subscribed subscribe to my channel and we will see from each other in the middle of september for the love readings bye